Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use a Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. This will be a full tutorial and also an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. Now I said it's going to be an easy tutorial because it's really easy to use this tool, okay? But I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So we're looking at the back of it, so this would be the front of it. And if we turn it around, this is actually the back of it right over here. Now there are just a few things to worry about, okay? You first and foremost have an on and off switch. This little switch right here, if you turn it up, if you flick it up, it's going to turn on. And if you flick it down, it's going to turn off. Very simple. Now when the hair dryer is on, you have a few options. And I'll turn it on. Just try and ignore the sound, even though it's super quiet. Just try and ignore the sound as you listen to my instructions. When you turn it on, on this side you have three lights that are red. This is your level of heat. When you push this little red button, it's going to adjust how much heat there is. As you can see, level one, level two, level three, level two, level one, level zero. One, two, three, and so forth, okay? Three, two, one, zero. Just like that. So you can control how much heat is coming out of it. This right here is your fan speed button. We are fan speed one, two, three, two, one. Just like that. Two, three, two, one. Choose your fan speed that works for you. Lastly, when it's heated, there's a button right here. It is a little blue dot. If you press that button and you hold it down, you can see those red lights disappear and the air is no longer heated. So right now it's blowing lukewarm air, pretty much. If I release that button, it goes back to where it was before at the heat level. I'm going to turn it off. So that's how to use it in terms of its button and its buttons and its user interface functionality. Now you'll notice that there's no attachment on it right now. Well, right here we have part of a magnetic system. It comes with these attachments that you can put on like that. They're magnetized. It stays on. Trust me, it's not going anywhere. Okay. You can turn them as well if you need to while they're on there. Like I said, trust me, not going anywhere. Okay, and this works with all of the attachments. You can turn them just like that and they're nice and firmly in place. Really super unbelievably easy to use. And you do have the three attachment options. So whichever one works for you, you can, you can use it. And there's no need to twist and fumble in place because um, it, they're easy to, to, to put on and remove. And that's essentially it. That is how to use it in terms of uh, its buttons and its, uh, its attachments. And also, random side note, be sure to clean the filter um, every so often to make sure that not a lot of dust accumulates on that filter cage because um, it, will, uh, it will obviously affect the actual uh, capabilities. If there's a lot of dust, it's gonna be hard for it to get enough air, okay? And before you clean the filter, make sure that you unplug it obviously, and make sure that before you put the filter back on, once you've cleaned it, it is completely, absolutely bone dry, completely dry, not even the slightest bit moist, completely dry. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.